guys, in the fast lane here. Today I'm going to show you how to fix your air compressor uh, when the piston ring, it's really not a ring, it's just kind of like a copper seal around the piston. The piston and rods are usually just one piece on these uh, air compressors. <clears throat> this particular one right here is a Coleman. It's a, uh, I think it's a, let me see, it's the Coleman PowerMate Black Max 155 PSI. Well, I was running it and I heard it getting really loud, like hissing as it was pumping. And come to find out, I pulled the head off and the cylinder and the seal or the ring that goes around that seals the cylinder and the piston, uh, it kind of got whipped in. So I'm going to show you a, a free way to fix it, uh, maybe get a little more use out of it. Say you're on a job and it's not building any more pressure and this could be a big help. Um, I was going to order a new piston and uh, sleeve because you pretty much got to order a new sleeve also because it scratches it up. But uh, this is the oilless one, so check this fix out. For the sake of the video, I kind of just slapped it together. There's four bolts right here. They're uh, 10 millimeter bolts. Uh, you'll have a shroud over it. You, know, you can figure out how to take the shroud off. I left this bottom shroud on, and I just leave it like this because it cools a lot better and, you know, dispensates heat. Also, your line, you got to unscrew it right here. I just use a uh, monkey wrench, adjustable wrench for this. So you take the four bolts out right here, it just comes off, and this is just the uh, intake side. Set that aside. This right here, these are your reeds. And these, I actually repaired this, and just show you for the heck of it. As you can see, um, the screws, the little 10 mil or 8 millimeters, might be 7 millimeters, they kind of, the threading got taken out, and the um, stainless steel reeds under there, if you can see, there's little metal right there, you can see them. Uh, they kind of just act as a valve and they go but up and then on the intake side they're right here There's more this one was fine, but these were bad So what I did is I drilled a hole through this steel. This is solid steel right here Because this piece came out the re guide or the I don't know what they actually call this piece I'd have to look up a manual, but it prevents the actual valve to over flap It keeps it at a certain distance Anyhow, so I drilled it out and you can see right here. It's JB welded. I drilled it threaded it screwed them in with JB Weld on top and this thing has been going for over a year now. Uh, now this part right here you're looking at like I don't know 90 bucks so I wasn't willing to spend that much money on it when I picked this up for about a hundred bucks the guy didn't tell me there was anything wrong with it so anyhow that's how you would fix it if you had to you know drill a hole through it right there was actually that's what happened and actually snapped out right there that's what happened with the 10 there's two of them right here so instead of putting it right there, I just drilled a hole through it and put two more screws through there into the metal. And you can see right here on this side where some of the JB came through, I just put it up. So that's it. It's been going strong, like I said, for over a year. All right, so that's that. Here's the actual uh, cylinder. This is the sleeve right here. And we're going to pull up. I just tightened it up. Man, that thing's tight. Tell you what, um, it was really loose. So here's the top of the piston right here, and as you can see, you see how it's kind of getting dented in, it's thinning out. It's usually like a V cone, okay? It just it, it V's out, and this part V's out, and then you kind of slide the sleeve over it real nice and uh, carefully so you don't bend these V's in. But now they're turning into like paper thin, as you can see here, it just kind of just bends back and forth, it's real flaky because it's been worn. But when I get real bad dents like that, you just grab a pair of pliers and you kind of, wherever it's real flapped out, just kind of put the plier in there. This is all copper, all right? And then you squeeze and flatten it out. And what that does is it kind of squishes some of it out, you know, and then you fold it back up and it makes it more rounder because wherever you have a hole, you, and the, you can put the sleeve over top of it So say you put the sleeve over it and then you can see down in the hole where it's gapped and when there, wherever is a gap just maybe mark it with a marker the area that's gapped and kind of squeeze it flatten it out a little bit more and then eventually you'll be able to angle it just a little bit kind of like that get it on there make it flat and then go down to the sleeve and you can see how it's fully filled out 
and you're gonna get some oh actually you probably get another six months maybe who knows even a year out of it like that um, as long as the copper is sealing you're gonna build pressure now if it's too thin the thickness wise then yeah it's gonna flap back over but that's usually not the case it just kind of wears out the outer wall so go ahead and give that a try and uh, if that works then I'm, I'm glad I could help you out I'm gonna try it I was building up to 150 psi but it was hissing it couldn't finish the deal off at 155 so I'm gonna give that a shot as for reassembly on your old seals obviously they're gonna be flattened out if they're pretty old so what I like to do is I just take some high temp RTV silicone and uh, just kind of rub it around the sleeve where the uh, block or sleeve meets the actual head freeze a little bit out and then kind of just rub it on just the top this will seal it up real nice you want to worry about any leaks there you'll be getting the max compression that you need now you just take your uh, reed valves and you just kind of make sure the seal is on there as close as you can get it now that that's sealed up you're just going to take the valves just kind of slide it over it set it on top like that and you're done with that we got another seal right here all you do is just take some RTV yours probably could be a little bit different you know you could have a craftsman I'm just going to take some RTV and kind of just just stick the uh, gasket a little bit just as long as it has a little thin layer over it so that it seals up there we go and we take the uh, intake and we just set it on the right way which is like this now we take our four bolts drop it down in there and uh, I just hand tighten them there's really no torque spec you just kind of go in X's Work it down, and then when you're done with that, you just slide up the uh, line and tighten it to the exhaust side. And that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.